Hello and welcome to another Cycle FTFM video, Fundamental Training for Marketers, brought to you by 3Chilies, the experienced technology experts. In this video, we're going to be talking about publishing. When you edit or create new items in Sitecore, they must be published before they appear on your live website. To be clear, clicking the save button will just save your latest draft. You'll then need to publish that item if you'd like it to appear on your website. When you work in Sitecore, the items that you save are saved to something called the master database. When you publish items, the items are copied from the master database to a publishing target and from the publishing target, the website is launched. The default publishing target in Sitecore is called the web database. When you publish a new item, you can choose to publish the entire website or a single item. This button right here, the site publishing button in the content editor, publishes your entire website starting from the root of the content tree. Whereas this button here, the item publishing button, publishes items on an individual basis. It's important to realize that an item can only be published if all of its ancestors have been published too. For example, this blog post won't publish unless the folder it lives in has been published. And that folder won't publish unless its parent folder has also been published at some point too, and so on. Let's look at the options we receive in the publishing wizard when we click on the site publishing button. It's worth noting that we tend to stay away from this option because if there happen to be any unfinished items in the content tree which haven't had any publishing restrictions set on them, using this option will push those unfinished items onto your live website, so we tend to stick to item publishing where possible. Okay, so the first option here is incremental publish. Selecting this option will only publish the items that are in the publishing queue. See, every time you change an item, the item is automatically added to the publishing queue. If you have workflow enabled, the changed item is only added to the publishing queue when it reaches the final workflow state. Incremental publish is the fastest way of publishing because Sitecore doesn't have to trawl through your whole website looking for changes, it just goes ahead and publishes the items in your publishing queue. Now the Smart Publish option publishes all items that have changed since the last publication. When you run a Smart Publish, every item in the master database is compared to the equivalent item on the target database or web database. And if the item has changed, it's published. Be aware though that comparing all items in the database makes this a time-consuming way of publishing your website, particularly if the content tree contains many items. The republish option overwrites every item in the target database with the equivalent item from the master database, even if that item hasn't changed. In this way, republishing removes all obsolete versions from the target database. The publish language section specifies the language version that you would like to publish. In this case, we only have an English version, but if you have a multilingual site, you should see more options here. In the publishing targets section, specify the publishing targets that you want to publish. In this case, it'll be the live website which uses the web database. When it comes to publishing an individual item, some of the options are slightly different. Click the publish item button which can be found here in the experience editor or here in the content editor and that'll open up our publishing wizard again. As a side note, if you'd just like to publish the selected item in all languages to all publishing targets and avoid going through the steps of the publishing wizard, click on this icon here. Most of these settings are the same as before, so we won't cover them again, but where it does differ is here. Here we have the option to publish an item's sub-items at the same time. So let's say that the item we're publishing is a folder containing all of the various assets that we've made for a campaign. Rather than individually publish each item, we can just publish the folder and by selecting this option, it'll publish all of the item's children in the content tree. Now, if you want to publish all of the item's related items, select this checkbox. Say for instance if you had a picture displaying on the page, that picture is actually stored in the media library so it'll need publishing too and this checkbox will allow you to do that. It'll also publish any cloned and alias references. Click the big publish button to proceed and when the publishing completes you'll be given a window which shows the number of items that were processed during publishing. In our next video we'll be covering publishing restrictions. This video was brought to you by 3Chilies, the experienced technology experts. For more free cycle training videos, head over to 3chilies.co.uk forward slash training. Or if you'd like to organize a bespoke training day for your marketing team, email us or give us a ring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful.